Today is a unique day to be out collecting data. There are forest fires burning here, and since we've arrived, they've expanded into the research trial area we are monitoring. It's gotten to the point now that we need to leave our research site. It's interesting to see the fires rolling in, as the trial was set up in an area that was previously burned by wildfires in 2014. Now, it's burning again. This research program seeks to understand if transplanting terrestrial forage lichens, specifically Cladonia subgenus cladina, can be used as a tool to restore caribou winter habitat in post-burn environments. Because lichens are slow-growing organisms, growing around 4 to 5 millimeters per year, it can be difficult to detect changes. They have also evolved to desiccate and live in extreme environments, which makes it hard to understand their vitality. Today we are here looking at two species, Cladonia rangiferina and Cladonia mitis, that were transplanted in the burn in 2015. To determine if these lichen transplants have survived, we are collecting samples and using fluorometry to analyze them. This allows us to determine if the lichens have survived five and six years after being transplanted. My name is Brianna Collis. I am an ecologist and botanist with Chucho Environmental, and I'm out here monitoring lichens. I'm Helga Haller-Bush. I'm an undergraduate student working in Darwin Coxon's lab up at the University of Northern British Columbia, and I'm up here with Chucho Environmental. I'm helping to gather the samples of Clodina rangiferina and Clodina mitis. Hey, my name is Sabrina Delude. I work with Chucho Environmental, and I am from the St. Cajun Nation, and I am working on the Lichen Project. The study consists of two field trials. The first is an experimental trial that was established in 2015 using 181 meter squared experimental units to evaluate the ecological requirements for establishing lichen. In this trial, the lichen were either transplanted as fragments or a mat within the burn. There is also an operational trial, which was established in 2016 to replicate the application of lichen transplants over a larger area. This trial has 80 100 meter squared experimental units and is set up to replicate the potential application of lichen fragments and mats over a larger scale. I'm Duncan McCall, Senior Ecosystem Biologist with the Ministry of Forest Lands, Natural Resource Operations and Rural Development. And I've been working on the lichen project with Seike Dene and Chucho Environmental for a little over six years now since we first came up with the idea. Uh, it's been a good project, definitely some interesting results coming down the line here and it's fun to get out and work on some restoration trials in uh, wolverine caribou habitat. Lichen trials started in uh, the caribou region back in the late 80s uh, into the early 90s where they were looking at transplanting lichen into forestry cup blocks and then with the uh, large fires that happened both in the, the caribou, Prince George and also in the Mackenzie forest districts and the last five or six years, we took that opportunity to see if we could transplant lichen from non-caribou habitat areas into caribou habitat areas to try to jumpstart lichen succession and see if we could uh, create food sources where they could take up to 70 years to grow back in naturally. My name is uh, Darwin Coxon. I'm a professor in the Ecosystem Science and Management Program at the University of Northern British Columbia. Uh, I'm really pleased to be collaborating with uh, Chucho and, uh, and the Seke First Nation. So what we're doing with the, the lichen samples is we are taking them out of the bags, putting them into distilled water, uh, 
letting them rehydrate. Uh, then we, we pull out samples of the, the, the tips of the, the lichen pedicia or the lichen stalks, uh, and then we're giving them 24 hours pretreatment under uh, lights that mimic natural sunlight, uh, temperatures that are optimal for growth, and we, we let all the lichens come back to their potential maximum rate of photosynthesis. Uh, we take a small disc of lichen sample and place it under uh, a sensor for measuring chlorophyll fluorescence. Put a pulse of light onto that lichen from the, the chlorophyll fluorescence machine at one wavelength, and if it's viable, uh, there is a emission of light at another wavelength, so we have a very rapid uh, measurement for determining photosynthetic productivity. After the lichens were analyzed with a fluorometer, we examined the data. We found that transplanted lichens, after five and six years, were still alive. The lichen had not only survived, but they were healthy. I'm Sean Rappai, and I'm a restoration ecologist. After the lichens were analyzed with the fluorometer, we examined the data. The results indicate that transplanted lichens are alive and healthy five and six years after being transplanted. Healthy and viability were the same across all species and all treatments, indicating that the lichen species included in this study had survived and are candidates for use in larger caribou winter forage restoration programs. While more research is needed to understand the operational feasibility of transplanting terrestrial lichen for restoration, the results of this study are clear. The transplanted lichens in this study survived and we hope that they will continue to grow and thrive.